Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome to the PyTorch tutorial. This is the fourth video of the PyTorch tutorial series. Today's topic is linear regression using PyTorch. To implement a neural network that acts as a linear regression model, we will create our own dataset first. We will take one value of x and we shall get a corresponding value of y from a simple linear equation and we will fit a linear regression model that will try to predict that equation. To create our own data set, we import numpy and to plot our data points, we import matplotlib.pyplot. We are taking first 10 positive integers from one to 10 and we are inserting those values in x and we are getting the corresponding y values from the equation 1.5x plus 13, which is a linear equation. We are creating a list from 1 to 10 and we are naming it as x underscore values. We are creating a numpy array from that list and we are calling it x underscore trend. And we are doing some pre-processing on the data. Once you create a numpy array from the list, the numpy array will look like this, which is an array of float 32s and it has a shape of 10 comma nothing this open-ended array is a problematic thing in pytorch pytorch can't work on this so you have to create an array of small arrays so each data point should come inside an array so we will reshape it and it will look like this so as you can see it's an array of small arrays that has only one element 1 to 10 we will do the same thing for y train and the values will look like this when we plot the data it will form a straight line as you can see of course because it comes from the linear equation y equals to 1.5x plus 13 now we will build a linear regression model in pytorch that will try to predict this equation to do that we will import torch from torch.autograd we will import variable we shall also import torch.nm that has all the modules for implementing deep neural networks and for optimization we are importing sgd from torch.optim first we'll create a linear regression model class i have named it as linear regression model but you can name it the way you want just remember you have to call nn.module inside the class first you have to call an init function under which you have to define a super that will call itself since we have only one dimension for input variable and one dimension for output variable we are calling nn.linear the first one stands for input dimension the second one stands for output dimension and then we are declaring our forward path that is basically calling this linear on the x once we have created our linear regression model class we will instantiate it under linear underscore model we will call cuda so that we can use gpus on our model you can also check the parameters for fine tuning our linear model, we have two aspects, loss function and optimizer. In the last video, I discussed that loss function can take many forms, but for today's linear regression model, we are using nn.msc loss, that is mean square error for optimization and using stochastic gradient descent. You have to decide how many times you want to iterate through all your data points. The more you iterate over your data points, the better your fit is, but it is equally challenging for computation. So choose your number of epochs judicially. I have chosen 1000 because I think it should be enough. Inside the for loop, for each epoch, I'm doing these steps. I'm creating one variable called inputs on which I'm calling torch.autograd.com variable 
on my extreme numpy array i discussed in the first video that you can create tensors from numpy arrays like this i'm calling variable on top of this so that i can use back propagation on this similarly we are creating labels from y train optimizer dot zero grad basically initializes all the gradients on each epoch outputs has all the predicted values that linear model predicts on the input values then we have to calculate the loss that is done through MSE and it compares outputs that is the predicted variables and the out actual labels from the equation after that I call loss dot backward which is basically the back propagation after that we have optimizer dot step basically it calls the SGD optimizer once we run it we can see our model has a run the loss started from 524.12 and gradually it decreased and at the last step that is on 1000 epoch it gave 0 0.0081 so if your loss at each epoch is decreasing, your model is learning. It means you are on the right track. After this, we plot our predicted and our true values. So our predicted values come on the blue line and the true values are the red dots. So we can see that our model has predicted pretty well on the true values. So I would say our model is really good. Now we are checking whether our loss is decreasing at each epoch. You can see that right after first epoch, our loss has dropped very sharply, which is a good sign. You want your loss to drop gradually. Now we shall verify whether our model is working good or bad. To test our performance, we take three values, 100, 200, and 300. Just remember, you have to create an array of small arrays. So if you want to add another test data point or test X value, just create another array and insert 400. You can check the shape of the X underscore test. It is four comma one, which means I have for x values to test to check the real values we insert directly in the equation that is 1.5 into x plus 13 and we will have our real values so the real values are for 100 it's 163 for 200 it's 313 for 300 it's 463 for 400 it's 613 now let's see how our model predicts the values The model predicts as 165.59, 318.38, 471.16, and 623.95, which are pretty close to these actual values. Now, if you want it to be perfectly matching with the actual values, you have to run more epochs. So, if you're not satisfied with this result, try running 2000 epochs. If that is not good enough for you, try running 3,000 3, epochs. So this way you keep on increasing the number of epochs and your model fits better than the lesser number of epochs. Thanks for watching.